Today we're going to talk about three-phase pumps. This is a standard three-phase pump and as you're probably aware there's three separate windings in the motor. This motor when it is set up as a standard pump is configured in a star configuration for the windings. That is one end of each of the three windings is connected together to form a star. This gives a motor a high starting torque as of course it's already primed and full of water so it needs a good torque to get the motor away. Some bigger pumps may be wired in star delta, star to get them up and running to get the high torque and then change to delta for a lower running current, but that is only on larger pumps. The three phases on this pump are connected onto the three other ends of the windings and there is a directional arrow to show which way the pump should run. If for any reason the pump runs in a wrong direction, you simply swap over any of the two phases. To test the three phase pump, to make sure to see if the windings are gone if you think you have a problem, you simply use an ohm meter, connect one end onto the star point, and then check each of the windings individually. The resistances of each winding should be approximately the same. If you find there's one winding that is open circuit as displayed on the multimeter, you know that winding is faulty and probably burnt out and the motor would need rewinding. Just to recap, if the motor does run the wrong way, you simply swap over any of the two phases. It is important that the motor does run the right way, otherwise the pump well, will still run, but it will be very inefficient. If you have any other questions on three-phase pumps, please don't hesitate to contact us.